the primary goal of this project is to develop an intelligent wheelchair which can be used by people with physical disabilities in their everyday activities so that they have a bit more freedom in their movement. Um, this is an ambitious long-term project but uh, in the first year we focused on a few specific goals. In particular, we focused uh, quite a bit of our energies on the development of an autonomous navigation system. So that means being able to go from point A to point B without manual input from the user and of course without causing any collisions or without getting lost. To achieve all this, it was important to install appropriate sensors on the robot. In particular, we have three laser rangefinders which are able to detect obstacles and the distance to these obstacles so that the robot can infer appropriate action choices. We also have a speech recognition system on board the robot that allows the user to give commands using natural language. Follow the right wall. These commands are then interpreted through an artificial intelligence component which is able to pick out what the user wanted specifically and then make recommendations or give commands to the underlying navigation system about what the robot should be doing. Stop. Turn around. In this project, there's a close collaboration between researchers, engineers, and clinicians from uh, Constance Ladbridge Rehabilitation Center and uh, Centre de Adaptation Lucie Bruneau. Users of wheelchairs are also involved very early into the project. They help us test uh, whether they can go up a uh, ramp, follow a corridor, cross a doorway, or even park the wheelchair using verbal commands. We believe that this um, technology, which is a mix of robotic and, and artificial intelligence, will help more people to use a wheelchair. People that were unable to do so because they were weak, tired easily, or they had involuntary movements such as tremor. We think that they will be able to uh, go where they want in a more secure and independent manner.